because <laughs> I might be losing my power. <laughs> oh, I wish this was easier to share updates when something goes awry because last Monday I didn't know. So I'm gonna wait for people to pop on and I'll start getting into all the things, all the things. We're gonna, I'm gonna wait because we know the rules. Once one is here, everyone's here. But I saw somebody say I'm waiting for makeup on Monday and I'm so sorry, so sorry. I might have to do makeup on Tuesday, maybe. And I'll have my hair done. Okay, one's here, so we're all here. Say hi. <laughs> Who's with me here? <laughs> all right. So the reason my makeup's on is because... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. The reason my makeup is on is because our house is a snowballing mess. And one thing after another. It started with... Let's get the house painted. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we're getting the house painted. Great, we can change the color. My kids call this the brownie house because it is brown on brown on brown on brown. And it's not even light browns. It's all dark browns. It's like a brownie. Dark brown trim with a little bit lighter dark brown house with a dark brown painted deck. And it's a big deck. <laughs> and I hate it. I hate the color of our house. And... So we were going to be painting, uh-oh, we were going to be painting it because it was due and I wanted something lighter to camouflage. We live in the woods. We live on property. And so with that, hello, Sue, how are you? Okay. Hey, are you still alive? Yes, Julie, I am still alive. Good morning. Okay. Is it Connie? Is Chick Connie? <laughs> I'm trying to remember all my, all my regulars. Um, okay, so. It was time to paint. We have cobwebs because we live in the woods. Anyway, we needed to get some repairs and we had a little hole in one of our roof lines and bats were getting into it. I mean, this sounds like I live in a dump, but it's just a house from the 70s and it's, oh yeah. Okay, what eyeshadows are you wearing? I was playing with eyeshadows today. So today is, I need to wait for my, I biffed it. So today I put on, see boom hi I don't have my under eyes done. we'll talk under eyes because it was a lot of questions I got during my event and in email so I have lullaby on look at these gross nails I'm a chicken lady I cleaned my chicken house yesterday lullaby on my transition color on my brow bone and then I put miha on my outer lid and then I put bright eyes right here with a little bit of drift and then I brought Philly is my liner Top and bottom, and I put some black eyeliner on. I tried a new eyeliner. I don't know how much I love it, so I need to clean that up, I know. But this is Revent, Revant, I don't know. Um, somebody had sent me a link to try it. It's a gel pencil. I always use my Maybelline Tattoo Studio, but it does transfer, and this one does not. And I do like that. I just don't know about it yet because I've only used it three or four times but that's what's on my eyes right now. I even used the pencil as my full liner. I didn't use a liquid today. It's just a little softer and not as harsh. Okay, I'm gonna fix this scuff. So if you don't know the trick, good thing it happened on this side because that's the only one I can close one at a time. But if you get mascara up here, you take a spoolie and you just chip it off and it doesn't mess with your eyeshadow. All right. I'm gonna talk about under eyes. So here's the deal. Okay, we were painting our house. We're just gonna talk a little bit because why not? That's what I do on here anyways, right? Okay, we were painting our house. My power might get shut off. And what, God, they might come to my door and I'm in my pajamas. I'm gonna wait for them to ring the doorbell. <laughs> and then you guys are gonna have to wait. <laughs> Damn it, wait. Thank you. 
move in your room. Okay, who left? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna listen to you. The power is getting ready to be turned off. I don't know if I'm going to lose you, but the house is a money pit. <laughs> and so we were replacing a couple of our siding boards and found rot and we found more rot and more rot. Now the entire west side of our house is being recited, which then led to they smelled gas. And so we had to get our gas turned off because we had a gas leak coming into our house, which then led to them replacing some siding and pulling a nail out. And it was nailed into live conduit, which then electrocuted our guy a little bit. He's okay. He survived. He kept working. But then the electricians were like, if he grabbed with his left hand, he'd be dead. And then I cried. Last week was a lot of tears around this house. So now they're shutting off our power because all of our conduit has to be replaced throughout the entire house. They had to rip out our ceilings through the garage, through my storage room, through my furnace room. There, It's all gone. And so they have to pull all that conduit out, replace it. So they're shutting down all of the power. But I don't know if I'm going to <laughs> lose you guys. <laughs> and so now we, and this was all just coming from, we want to paint our house. It's a big house, and so there's a lot of pieces because it's like a tree house of a lot of add-ons. So there was a lot of tears last week, and the electricians, not the electricians, the contractor that got electrocuted, he was like, this happens to us all the time. It's okay. And I was like, I just, I need to stay. And he's like, leave. We're fine. We're going to do, they're the sweetest guys. We live in a small town, and so I trust these people. And I know the kid to the guy who grabbed the nail and I was like, oh my gosh. So it's a lot. <laughs> Power's out. <laughs> so I don't know, tell me if you can still hear me. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. The house has to get taken care of and we're gonna be okay. <laughs> can you guys hear me? Am I frozen? Am I frozen like this? <laughs> oh man, if you guys are still here, tell me. Okay, you can still hear me, oh my gosh. Let's do this without power. I wish I had a candle. This could be so romantic. <sighs> Hold on. I do. I do. I even have matches, guys. How ridiculous am I? Okay, we're going to get romantic and we're going to talk about under eyes. And I just feel like we should have a candle because we love each other here, right? We all love each Look at, I spent money on this. I got paid no nothing for this. I spent my own money to buy saint matches. Like, who needs this? Nobody, but I'm a sucker for packaging. It even came in its sachet bag, a stinking sachet. Does it say Saint? It says Saint. Oh my gosh, glorious. And then there's this cute little shop in the town where we were going to school and it's called Burlap and Lace. Do they have a website? Oh my gosh, burlapandlacecorvallis.com. These candles, I love them. I love them. They're so, oh, she burns them in the store and it, oh my gosh, I just love it. Let's set this puppy on fire. I mean, we're I'm ready at this point. I'm ready. Am I weird and I love the smell of matches? Hi guys. Let's talk about under eyes. <laughs> oh gosh, get a life, Amanda. All right, well, now that I've used my matches, which were so fun, and this is romantic. Who doesn't look good in candlelight, right? <laughs> I'm trying to laugh through the tears of all of this. Oh, and then they said they thought they saw where a mouse at some point since whenever that happened might have chewed through another wire. So they're checking that out too. I'm trying to think of what else happened. Oh, I have to get three, I have to get at least three windows replaced too, because they're leaking. And then I'm starting homeschooling next week. I'm not homeschooling. I'm paying somebody to homeschool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I did an event this weekend. This is nice, right? Okay. <laughs> you love the smell of matches too. Fantastic. So this weekend I did an event. There's this beautiful restaurant in my town and they have a tent area across the street where you can go and have drinks, order appetizers while you wait for a table to open up. It's amazing and it's decorated beautifully with plants and oh my gosh it's beautiful and my friend owns it and she lets me host saint events where I open it up to a small group of nine and you can come and I explain saint and I'll do a couple makeovers depending on how many people are there and it's been amazing sometimes I bring some product if, if anybody wants to grab a little quick thing it's very limited but 
a lot of the questions I was getting at this event was under eye, specifically not just under eye discoloration, but the troughs. So I need to set my makeup because I'm getting oily. That was another thing. I had somebody on here mention that they, no matter what, it's oily. I have oily skin. Like there's no illuminator on this and I border on jumping to greasy. Like this is where I'm getting over to that place. So I'm gonna take my setting spray. You can do this before or after, either way works. There's no right or wrong. But I spray and while it's still wet, I go into my vanilla dust and I keep two just so my fluffy brush can hit it all and it's getting to the point where it just starts breaking off. And while I'm moist, I start outside and then I bring it in and it, it sets it a little, it sets the oil while the makeup still keeps you dewy, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I've concluded that I don't like Saint under my eyes. So I've gone back to shape tape. I have shape tape right here. Have you, uh, everybody's different. Um, I'm gonna take, okay, I have set. I have set, I have moved on. So let's, let's, let's talk about this, Desiree. Okay, must run, Mr. Barris just out of the hospital. Oh my goodness, Mr. Barris, does he miss me? Oh, tell him good luck, heal, rest. We're thinking of him, Mr. Barris. Take care. I don't know what happened, but I'm thinking of him and get better. I know he misses me, so. <laughs> Hopefully that'll make him smile. <laughs> but, okay, so under eyes, Demi. Demi has been the best thing for people who don't like the 3D under their eyes. And so I'm gonna play with that. I'm gonna get the spot brush out. I like the spot brush for a lot of different reasons, but I'm also going to use balm, which is not on this layer. <laughs> Where's my balm? Oh, I did an event, remember? So we're going to get the balm and it's so yummy. Where the heck did I put my balm? Oh, I think I put it in this one because it's limited edition and I have a special limited edition one. Okay, I have Demi, don't care for it either. Okay, what is happening under your eyes? So I'm gonna take my balm and I just tap onto it. You could see there's the difference. Okay, this one has balm, this one doesn't. It's just, and I'm gonna tap under you could probably do this with the shape tape. Okay, we're gonna tap and then I tap. And I tap it really where I want it. You guys just have to listen to Hugo because I don't wanna make you wait while I go tuck him in. Okay, now there's two ways you can do this. You could do, I kinda want it, should I compare shape tape? I have color light natural, light neutral, 2-2-N. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna try it over here. And I'm gonna do that and then here. It's been a long time since I've used shape tape. So do you use a brush or do you use a beauty blender? I prefer the e.l.f. beauty blender over Saints. One price, holy guacamole, I think this is like three, four dollars and Saints I think is 15. And I find this to be softer even when Saints is wet and you wring it out, it's still not as soft as this one. So this is the one I talk about. Okay, I meant to message that person. So I'm not gonna be able to get it wet, but let's see. Okay, I've tried Demi with the balm, but by the end of the day, my fine lines are accentuated. Oh, and I feel like I look older. Woo, that stinks. Okay, let's just use this beauty blender and I'm gonna tap out this shape tape my man hands and we're gonna give me some grace on that. No correcting, I do have balm. I would put balm with this because I kinda don't mind this with the balm. It's not bad. This is actually the best I've seen the shape tape work on me is having that balm with it. Oh, damn, I mean, darn. You guys, this power outage made me slip the tongue a couple times already. Okay, that's actually not so bad, guys. That's not so bad. I feel like I want more coverage. Look at me playing with shape tape. My thing is, is that I don't do comparisons anymore. I even bought that NYX one. What is that one called? And I just didn't want to trash something because I don't think that because it doesn't work for me or I don't prefer it, um, I don't want to trash it. That's not fair. Everybody likes different things, 
but oh, I'll try shape tape with the balm. I'm liking this. Like I'm going to get all up in my, in my stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're getting my language all out of hand. All out of, I might've overdone it. I might have overdone it, but this isn't bad because I always found that it got crepey when I would use it. This is what made me continue trying different things. But you know what? Balm with shape tape is the bomb. <laughs> I think the balm is the bomb. Um, and the scent of peach is not overwhelming. It's not gonna burn your eyes if you have it, if you have just the plain one, or you can get the little square. I don't think it's worth the price because it is a good quality product. Buy the, buy the unscented one if you don't want peach. The unscented one is always available. Peach is limited edition and it smells so good. Okay, that's not bad, guys. Look at that. That's not bad, that's a good option. I would most definitely pair it with the balm, but hey, I just made shape tape work and I haven't had nice things to say about it lately. Hot dog, I wanna blend down my contour. I kind of biffed with the beauty blender, but I do like the e.l.f. one the best. Okay, I'm gonna get into Demi over here for my Demi ladies. I have that balm under here. There are two ways you can do it. But two things that I had people talk to me about is darkness. I get a little extra dark. Can we really get in? That's as far as I can go. I get dark right here and then right in this corner. And then it's more of a trough and balancing skin tone. And I don't have any makeup on under my eyes today. So I'm going to get into my Demi. And you always get, where is it? This guy right here. So we're going to go into y YL1 is mine. And it's this one right here. And it's yellow, orange, one. If you get OY, it's more peachy because orange is the lead. Does that make sense? It's like looking at an ingredients list. We're going to stay all up in my business. It, when you're looking at an ingredients list, the first listed are the strongest, most potent ingredients. As you get farther down, it's, it's like from strongest to not strongest. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I'm going to go in with Y01. It's not a lot. And I'm just gonna tap this right here. I had somebody come to my event this weekend and she used foundation with with Saint foundation over top. And I was like, yowzers. And we, we troubleshooted and it was pretty nice. So if you're having trouble with coverage, build where you need to build. It doesn't need to be the same build, the same coverage everywhere. So if you have problematic cheeks, Go, f go and, and add a little extra there, but your chin doesn't need that much. So don't put as much there And so doing that. So I'm just adding that, that Demi Y01, and then I'm taking this fluffy end, which I f feel like looking at it, it looked like it had some balm on it because I've done that too. But I just tap this out and it just brightens it up and it doesn't seem to add texture. <sighs> if it's accentuated, I feel like it's maybe too much. But also if I have deep fine lines in areas like out here or right this one right here, if you get to this one when I'm smiling or my crow's feet, if it creases, I mean, I accept the fact that it's creasing because what your skin is doing is taking that product you've laid across. And when I smile and they crease, they go like this and smash it together, which if you have too much product can make a line, but you can just reset it with your finger. Okay. So you put that on and then you can take your corrector, or not your corrector, your 3D, which I use Sunlit, which is this one. It looks very yellow, but it works like a charm. For me, it's not for everybody. Everybody's skin tone is different. So I'm just taking a little bit. I'm just like barely tapping, putting some on. That's probably too much. I'm gonna tap it here. I'm gonna tap it out here. And then I'm gonna tap it up in here and then bring it down. And then I'm gonna Nike check this thing up. And then I'll bridge it together. My brows, I have a bald spot right there. It bothers me. And we do that. Boom, I have, a, I have a hair that poked me in the eye. Anyway, I've been using this brush forever, so it's got this weird, ah, oh, there it is. You see it on my bright brow? It goes wonk. It's got a little Cindy Lou Who curl. Okay, boom. Okay, I probably do use too much because I want more coverage. Think of coverage based off of pigmentation, not quantity. you got quantity and quality. I don't wanna say quantity versus quality because that sounds really crappy, but it's super, super pigmented, so you really don't need a lot. And that's why I applied 
here first and then out here and then in here, but not directly on the saw, the hammock. <laughs> and then you could just tap it and then bring it down and out. Now, the other option is you can correct first, or not correct first, you can do the under eye first and then add Demi on top. I'll sometimes take 03, more on the palette. I'll sometimes take 03, where are you 03? Which is this one, I mean, Y01, 03. I miss having my nails done, but I'm not getting them done for a year. So sometimes I'll take this fluffy end and I'll go into 03. And I mean, it's pure pigment and keep that in mind. Demi is pure pigment. And I will sweep where I, f it's like sweeping and cleaning up. Sorry, I thought I was gonna catch my hand <laughs> with my romance. <laughs> At least I can laugh about it. You laugh or you cry, but I'll take 03 very minimally and just tidy things up. It's all, okay, I was just talking to my girlfriend about this. What your makeup looks like at the end is what you should want out of your makeup. What I like and what you like could be different. Like, I don't hate shape tape. I like it with the balm. It's not bad. And I did use it, oh, I mean, when I used to use shape tape, I was in my 30s, maybe my 20s. How long? No, 30s because of how long I've been using it. But I would like, <clears throat> and blend it out. And it was too much. And that's probably what creeped it. But I mean, this isn't bad. I just did the tiniest of little dots. I could probably make this tiny little bottle because this is all I was willing to buy. It's expensive. To me, it's expensive. And it won't last as long as my Saint. So my Saint is $16 and will last me, I would say with the amount I use my brightening, a year. This won't last, this wouldn't last me a year. Uh, it just wouldn't. But it's fun playing like it's not bad it really isn't there's no correcting it's just shape tape and balm and this is demi and my dog's out get him back in the room guys they're also singing christmas songs oh my god <laughs> okay let's see let me read i'm gonna read out loud because once the live goes away okay i have 01 y01 and 03 beautiful i say give it a whirl i think it looks similar Hugo, I might have to bring him in here. Um, I think the Demi side looks better. Okay, just my opinion. That's great. I think they both look really good, but also my lighting over here is a bit better because my house darts out right. Let's see if I can flip this, can I? I don't think I can, but my house darts out. So it does create a bit of a shadow. I can't use candlelight, that's too warm. So it's scary carrying around a candle, I tell you what. My mirror is dying in battery, but let's try. See, okay, more natural light over here. <laughs> I have no power, guys. I don't think this looks bad. I do see that it's gonna crease, but I could try setting that with powder. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day, and next Monday, I will have power, and <laughs> remind me, to, to tell you my thoughts on long-term wear. So I'm gonna take my blend brush on the fluffy end and I am going to tap into my vanilla dust, shaking it off, starting at my temple. I'm gonna come down the orbital and then come up. And I'm setting this with the powder. I do think shape tape needs to be set with powder. Honestly, I like the glow. It could be the fact that the color I'm using though is extremely different from sunlit. Like I should swatch. We might try this again next week. Let's do this. Let's swatch. I love doing lives. I love doing lives with you guys. You're so like, you're all so positive and nice. And you're not jerks popping on being like, it's an MLM. I'm like, it's makeup. It's fun. Bite me. Um, <laughs> okay. I want to read. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. Probably do. Okay. We read that. You have I, 01, Y01. 01. What does 01 look like? What's this? That's O Y. Oh, O Y is very orange. I had it mixed up. I don't even think I have O. Oh wait, I do have O one. O one could work the same as O three, but you have both. Play with them. I bet. Oh, you know what? O one would look really pretty on a waterline. You know how people are doing that? That'd be really pretty. Um, 
let's see, I generally start with 03, then sometimes have to put 01 as well to get the color corrected. Then the highlight on top of that. You know what I would do? Correct very minimally. I think you're overdoing th this. This is just me guessing. Okay, so don't, I'm not, whatever. But I would do the minimal, like what I did here, minimalist of the general correcting, then do your whatever under eye you put on underneath. And then if you need to, add extra Demi, but let the highlight do the rest of the work. That's what I would try, okay? Uh, hello, gorgeous people from Texas. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm in Oregon, so I like Texas, so I went to San Antonio once. We went to the Haunted Hotel, and we did some videos and stuff with them. Not really, but a little bit. Um, <laughs> We should always straighten each other's crowns. Yes, absolutely, Deborah. Okay, I'm gonna grab a highlight. So I just swatched, that's the shape tape and I'm feeling like it's close to white peach. Maybe not, maybe it's linen or moonlit or, let's try linen. Mm -hmm. Is it close to linen? Nope, let's try white peach. White peach. I'm going with white peach. I'm going to try this with white peach next week. We are going to do a side by side, but I am going to set both under eyes so everything's even Steven. If you're just getting on here, I have no power. Um, <laughs> okay, again, I'm taking that little brush, tap, 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 shake, 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 starting on the temple and then bringing down the orbital and then up. I want these to be done same, same. Shape tape is over here and Demi 3D is over here. This poor eyebrow, it's sad. It's so sad in this bald spot here. There we go. That will not stay like that, but I have no power, so we're having some romance. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna see how this works. I just, I can't tell what looks better because again, there's just not great lighting over here because my power's all. But yeah, I'm gonna be out of power for the next probably four hours. So great, so great. I even have uh, my kid's teacher coming to help set up the room. That's another thing that's been going on around here. Oh, I should post it. I'm gonna make a short that shows the room what it did look like it was a guest room, but we don't ever have people visit us. <laughs> and <laughs> oh yeah, oh, for your brightener. Okay, pretty much just tried all different colors out to see if a different color worked better. Did you like sunlit? I like so I have sunlit right here. It looks really yellow. Mi go minimal, go minimal. Hey, you're being introduced to a new color, start light and build. But that's what I, ha that's my brightener right now. I really like it, but it's, again, it's not for every skin tone because it could pull yellow on some. Um, but we had a guest room and I just, we were, we have a lot of changes this year. I spend a lot of time driving in my car to another town to drive my kids to school. It's an hour there. So I would spend 12 to 14 hours in my car each week just driving to school, handling the house. I can't tell where he is. I think he's still in the girls' room. So I would drive, drive, drive my heart away. There's like, there's four you like. Perfect. <laughs> That's great. Me too. <laughs> I love white beach. I love sunlit. <laughs> Um, but I would drive, I would be in my car at least four, let's see, between two, I, well, I don't even know because I'm always in my car during the school year, but we were doing a very specialized kind of private school that isn't, it's the Waldorf method and I'm not trashing the Waldorf method. I loved this school. I loved their philosophy. I love the, 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 the woodwork, the string instruments. I love the artwork, the knitting. I mean, the school was magical, beautiful. My daughter's kindergarten program was uh, amazing and it was worth the drive. I'm a stay at home mom and this is why I stay home is so that we can do the kind, these kinds of things if we feel like we need to and I was. So it was not a big deal. I found a lot of, my town doesn't offer a lot of things. So there was a gym, I did Orange Theory over there. Trader Joe's was there and Market of Choice, Costco, Target, none of that is in my town. And so I found a lot of things that I was able to do over there and it was great. And I found my little community over there, but the driving didn't bother me, especially when kids are out of the car, it's great. <laughs> 
but the method of their teaching, while everything about the school, the fundamentals of reading and, and math, the way they taught, every kid learns differently and how they learn is not contingent on how smart they are. And they didn't have a lot of support. There was not a special education department. There was not a Title I program there. They did not have extra help for kids who struggle with the method. So my daughter fell behind. So she's going into third grade and she's pretty far behind, full disclosure. And it's just because she did tutoring and learned so much in the summer and then started school and would lose it. So I knew that whatever, she was learning in the summer, that structure and that way of teaching was not being taught there. So it was a use it or lose it kind of scenario. And so she just ended up falling a little farther behind and she was learning, but she was just learning at a much slower pace because it just didn't go in this way the same. So my husband said, in a perfect world, what would you want? I said, I want a homeschool, but I would want a, a real teacher to teach it because kids don't listen to their mothers. And I wanted us all to enjoy the year of homeschooling. So. I put it out there to my community and messaged some teachers I knew that did tutoring and I was like, if you know anybody who'd be interested in teaching a homeschool program for a year, you let me know. And this one gal was like, I can do that. So she's been tutoring the last month with them three times a week, an hour for my oldest and a half an hour for my youngest. And I converted our, I wanted them to have a space. Okay, this is gonna be too much information probably. My husband has a belief. We don't have a TV in our room because when your mind, brain sees a bed, it should immediately know it's time to start shutting down for bed. Just like when your brain sees a toilet. <laughs> so I was like, I'll take that and say when your mind sees a classroom, it goes into learning mode. <laughs> so I converted our guest room into a full on classroom. like. It looks like a classroom. There's a whiteboard, there's a bulletin board, there is shelving, there is all learning education, there is a reading chair, there is a proper classroom. And I'm working with this teacher that lesson plans are two weeks out so that if there's a day she misses, the following week is set. So if she gets sick on a Sunday, I have Monday's lesson plan already there. So it's pre-planned. And so I can step in as a sub, but I am not teaching. I know my limits. I know my children. And I'm so zoomed in talking about this. <laughs> but that's what we're doing this year. I'll put a reel up and show that it's not like some big like, ooh, ooh, ooh. but my makeup money paid for this classroom. And I love that. So you guys supporting me and sharing me has been awesome. And I love that it was one less thing my husband had to worry about was paying for all the stuff that's in there because my makeup money paid for, helped pay for it. He paid for paint, I paid for all the stuff in there. And so I'm just so thrilled. And so we're, I'm interested to see how this goes. So a lot's changing, I'll be more available here. I'm gonna try to do Girl Scout leading, but I am shocked about how many moms are like, I want Girl Scouts, but I don't want to do Girl Scouts. So I'm gonna do Girl Scouts. I'm gonna try, we'll see. I voluntold my friend, but we'll see, we'll see. Lots of things are changing around here, but I will be able to do more here. I will still be able to continue my Monday morning lives. It just might be a little bit later in the day and I'm not driving all the time, which means I'm not getting my nails done. I'm not outsourcing my dry cleaning. So I gotta iron clothes now. These are my problems right now. Like I have to iron. Complain more, Amanda. Sound a little more tone deaf. I'm aware of how I sound and I apologize if it offends anybody. It's never my intention. I'm not a mean person. <laughs> but I'm also not a pushover. <laughs> I am in my house. Anyways, okay. That's my under eyes. I'm sorry it wasn't like a big ta-da live. But I was scared about my internet <laughs> falling out and nobody being able to see it and then stopping right when it started. So that's it. We talked under eyes. I am going to make a special tutorial on this and I'm going to let you know how the shape tape holds up next Monday. Yeah, next Monday. I am in my Facebook group on Friday going live because it's the first of the month and I do go live in my Facebook group. So if you haven't, click the link. There is a link to my Facebook group to join and I will be there Friday and I'll talk about it on that also because it's really not bad. Um, I'm trying to see how it's, that's, I don't know what they're doing in there, but lighting is off. I mean, 
Under eyes are under eyes. Texture is texture. I can't get rid of the texture. Ooh, troughs. Let's pop into that really quick. I don't know who's here, but if you take that spot brush and you feel like your tear troughs are accentuated, I'm going to take that Y01. And all I'm going to do is hit where it's sunken in here. Is it showing? There we go. Here. And then into that trough and just drag it along the trough. Okay. Lightness pulls out where, so do this after you've corrected and darkness pulls in like contour sinks in and lightness pulls out. So if you feel that your trough is accentuated, take something bright like Y01. Oh, one might work too. It just depends. Play with it. Message me. But if you put it right in your trough, it gives the illusion of lift. It's still there, but it does give the illusion of lift. And so try that. All right. I am going to make a special tutorial talking about those two things. And today was just like it turned into a shape tape comparison. I'm not mad at it and I'm not trashing it. I feel like it does look a little more sh shiny. I don't like putting a lot of powder because I'm pretty textury under my eyes. I mean, I'm 42, almost 43. Yeah. So I'm, I got stuff under my, I got fine lines. So, okay, that's it. I enjoyed our romantic live. Have a great day.